folks, 4.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over on the very, very cold East Coast. We are sitting in the teens this morning. Boy, is that one cold day ahead of us. Taking a look here over at the NASDAQ futures this morning. Today is the 27th of January. So the NASDAQ overnight put in some much, much lower prices. As you can tell, if you look at the arrow here on my chart, looks like the overnight low was 13, let's see, 13,844.50. We are sitting at 14,197. So we are well, well off the lows. What a great sight to see. Let's see if it holds through the day. So far, it looks like that will be the low for the day. We are up right now on the micro real-time futures, the NASDAQ. We are up 60 handles. I am on trading view, and that says we're up 44, which is probably a delay. But on the right-hand side of the screen, we have real-time micro NASDAQ futures up 50 675. So this is a good site to see. We were down big overnight and it looks like that has reversed. So that is a good site to see. Would not be surprised to see the market up big today after they reversed the market big yesterday on the Fed meeting right into the close and then pushed it down overnight just to open it back up big today. It is early. We have many hours till the 9.30 open, at least on the East Coast. So on the screen right now is just the E-mini NASDAQ 100 futures, the March 22s over on TradingView. Let me zoom in to a smaller time frame, time frame chart. We'll go to the three minute. You can see we put in a low right here in the overnight session right there was our low and our low was let's see 13 50. so we are sitting well above that right now at 14 to 13 not too bad of a rally off the lows all right, let's go over to Tesla here. This is Tesla pre-market down $7. Not too much going on there. That's Google Finance. Taking a look over here at the Tesla chart. So if Tesla is going to find my, uh, like my things acting up a little bit again today. Excuse that. Okay, so for today, for Tesla, if we do something what the NASDAQ did, we should see Tesla, which would have traded down to this lower range from yesterday, which would have been, let's see, 906 was yesterday's low. So if we take a look over at the NASDAQ real quick, let me go back to a daily chart. And let me delete some of this stuff. We'll zoom in. So you can see for the NASDAQ for the overnight session, we undercut yesterday's low, January 26th. We undercut that low. And now we are trading well above. So Tesla probably did the same thing overnight, which would put it trading below the 906 level. And we will see if this thing can catch up, wake up here and open to the upside. It would be nice to open up into this area into the mid 900s or higher. But right now we are currently trading down slightly. 
or Tesla. But as I mentioned, you got to have some patience here with this thing. I think we could chop around a little bit before moving higher. Something strong I see with Tesla is we are sitting above the 200 day, which is good to see. If you go over to the NASDAQ, we'll go back to the NASDAQ. We're on a daily chart. There's something different about the NASDAQ. We are sitting below the 200 day. So the NASDAQ got smacked pretty hard and back over to Tesla. Tesla is actually showing some pretty good strength here for now. That is, we are sitting above the 200 day, which is the red line on my screen. So I did mention that I do think this will be the low unless we get some black swan or some more very, very heavy selling. The Jan 24th low of 851.47. I think is definitely going to hold. So time will tell. The NASDAQ futures are continuing to rally up 83.75.84. So we will see what happens here. You just got to have some patience. Be careful. Markets can get volatile. But I would not be surprised to see a big update today after what the Fed meeting did to the market yesterday. So yesterday morning, the market was up many hundreds of points, the NASDAQ that is, and then we actually closed in the red. So they are really putting wide swings into the market, chopping people up, tiring people out, which is typical. They'll do that before they send the market either in one way or another. So they'll chop you around, you'll buy, you'll get stopped out, you'll go short, you'll get stopped out, and then they'll push the market in this. They'll start to trend the market, whether that's up or lower, and if you don't take that trade, you're going to miss out. So choppiness action may be in front of us. We're looking for higher prices in Tesla before we have any kind of conviction that this thing is going to continue its uptrend. Tesla, we believe, has some work to do to the upside before we have any conviction of putting some money into work with this thing. But if you're more of a bottom fisher and you're fishing down in here for Tesla, that's your that's what your rules say or that's how you like to trade, then we do think the bottoms are in on January 24th. But we like to buy strength and sell weakness. So we are waiting for some more upside confirmation before pulling the trigger here and getting into a long position for Tesla. So, and back over to the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ does, has, does have some work to do as well to the upside before we have some more confidence in futures positions for the long NASDAQ trades. That would be for the micro trades over on our Patreon group. But for right now, we are sitting too low. But as I said, if you are a bottom fisher and you were accumulating down in here, then we do think the bottoms are in for now. For the NASDAQ, that would be Jan, Jan 24th as well. We put in a nice test last night. I mean, this was probably making some traders a little bit uneasy when we traded down to that 13,844.50 level. But time will tell. Tesla down $4.69 pre-market. So not too much to do here. Just wanted to give you a quick update. I thought it was interesting that the NASDAQ futures just turned positive early this morning. Looks like the micro S&Ps are up 12 and a quarter. Let's see. The Dow is actually up 55 points as well. The Russell. Let me. Where's the Russell on my chart here? 
The Russell is actually down slightly two points. Micro Bitcoin futures down 435. They have been getting beat up and on a very, very nice downtrend for anybody who has been shorting, whether it's Bitcoin or Bitcoin futures or the Bitcoin micro futures. But for Tesla here, um, we are just kind of hanging out, waiting for some upside confirmation before pulling the trigger on a long position. We have some long orders working in the market, but they are pretty far away from current prices. As I mentioned, we are not bottom fishing here. We are waiting for upside strength and before we hop on Tesla. So if things get ugly here for Tesla in the near term, then this low on Jan 24 of 851.47, if that gets undercut, I would think we're going to put a pretty good size breach to the 200 day. But for right now, we are showing some strength and a bottom. So kind of sitting back, just keeping an eye on things. As I mentioned, we have orders working in the market. They are at higher prices. Those are long orders, that is. And uh, until then, we just kind of sit back and let the market do its choppiness thing until a trend develops here for the upside. So... All right, everybody, have a great day. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Tesla. Do you think Tesla is heading higher from here? Do you think Tesla is going to continue a downward move here, breaching the 200-day? Something that has been developing here is the 50-day moving average, which is the green line on my chart, as well as the 21-day moving average have started to trend lower here, poke their heads down. Whereas on my chart, the red line here, that is the 200 day moving average. And that is still moving to the upside. That is a good sight to see. One more quick thing before we end this early morning video is if we look on the chart right here in this time frame. Let's call it January 8th to January 8th to May 13th. We had a nice rally in Tesla and then we started to get some choppiness and we pulled back. Well, what we did was essentially we pulled back on this day right here, May 13th, and we finally met with the 200 day. So is something like that going to take place in 2022 this year? Are we going to chop around and then finally head lower and meet with the 200 day? Time will tell. It would be healthy to find support there if that is the scenario and we do pull back. Like I said, if we get some kind of a black swan or some nasty market, action to the downside and we undercut that things can get ugly very fast they usually v bottom if we do get a move like that it's healthier obviously to get some kind of a steady downward trend and then we'll find support there for a little while before we take off to the next move to the upside so that's kind of just some thoughts here early morning on a thursday Cold Thursday morning, January 27th. Just taking a look at some pre-market stuff here for Tesla and some other futures. So let me know down in the comments what you're doing with Tesla. Are you trading options? Are you selling strangles? Are you selling puts, naked puts? Are you buying calls? Let me know what you're doing. Are you trading on margin? Are you trading shares of stock? Let me know. I'd be interested to hear what the viewers are up to here in Tesla. You have any price targets? Let me know down in the comments. Always fun to see people's price targets for stocks and whatnot. Have a great day. I appreciate all of you taking your time out of your day to watch this video. Consider subscribing to this channel for some more videos like this. Things should get a little bit more interesting when we see some more moves here in Tesla. 
we will able we will be able to have some little bit more price targets if we start to move up higher here whether it's to well oh yeah hopefully to the upside but time will tell until then we're kind of in a unknown area so all right everybody i'm gonna stop rambling on here and get back to a couple other things relating to the market have a great day i will see you guys in the next video take care folks